it's another Monday here and another grocery food shop. So this week I have been shopping at Tesco online um, just for a change up this week really and to make use of my club card. So this is the brief overview. It looks very small but I think it's because it's quite bunched up together. So I'll get started. Right, so drinks as usual. I got a Pepsi Max and a Coke Zero. I went for a Pepsi Max as well this week just to spice up my life a little bit, you know. Um, so the household section here, I've got a couple of packs of wipes, which is really good that I only got a couple of packs because I went to Aldi today and bought um, some from there. Um, all this food shopping I do do in a few days in advance. So sometimes I actually forget what I've blooming bought. I don't know whether that's just me. Um, but yeah, I do find that I forget. Um, so two sponge scourers. I like these. These are 40p. And to be honest, they do the job. Um, wear them down and throw them in the bin. I mean, can't complain. Four toilet rolls, I probably should have got more because my little boy Charlie, he's 18 months and his new habit is to throw toilet rolls in a running bath. So that's fun. All right, this was a substitute, um, which is a bit annoying. My husband got the food shopping in, um, so I wasn't there when it got delivered. So, this is the Dettol um, Cold and Flu Virus Disinfectant Spray. I did actually want the Dettol like, Surface Spray for the kitchen. So, I'm going to have to go out and get some of that, um, which is really annoying. I have got a couple of these in my cupboard. It will get used at some point, but I've already got a couple anyway. I got a little um, thing of Sudocrem. I did actually buy the really little version of this, but they substituted it for the bigger version. And I didn't have to pay any more, which obviously is a plus. Um, but this I keep downstairs. I have them all dotted around the house just in case I need them. So in the children's bags, in upstairs and also downstairs. So I needed to place, replace the one downstairs. This was another substitute. I had seven substitutes. I wanted a new toothbrush for my little boy because they just keep going missing. So I need another one on hand. Um, I wanted the Aquafresh 022 toothbrush, but they sent me the 3 to 5 one. It's fine. I'm sure he'll love the fact that it's a tiger. Um, and hopefully it will encourage him to be more compliant when brushing his teeth. So over here to the little um, cupboard section, I've got a massive pasta. I don't know how, one kilogram. Obviously I've ordered this and didn't really look at measurements. I just really looked at the price. This is a massive, well, it's not massive, but it is a big bag of pasta. Um, so that's not gonna fit in my cupboard. I'm gonna have to store them, store it somewhere else. Um, because my cupboards are ram jam packed at the moment. Again, I bought um a really big spaghetti. How big is this? I didn't look at measurements again, one kilogram. So that will last us a while. That is a really big packet of that. Some serene loaves, um, banana ones. My children love these for snacks. Then over here to the tin section, I don't know about you, but when I'm doing my online shopping, I can't find um, the multi-packs of tomato, chopped tomatoes or beans. I don't know about you or whether it's, I don't know, maybe I'm not looking hard enough, I don't know, but I've had to buy them separately. So these, I think these were substitutes, I think, I don't remember ordering Branston. We're not really sort of name brand snobs when it comes to beans. Beans are beans. I mean, yeah, they taste the same to me. Um, so four separate cans of these anyway. And then these um, summer pride chopped tomatoes. Um, yeah, again, four separate ones. 
the not ring pull which is slightly annoying um but yeah never mind three big tins of sweet corn green giant sweet corn i am a bit of a brand snob with sweet corn it, for me it has to be green giant tesco's red kidney beans we'll be having jerk chicken again this week i needed some more to part tomato puree um so yeah got more of that then things are sliding Ugh. um two packets of this super rice so yeah golden vegetable did i mean to get this do you know what i was meant to get the um microwave one let's see I'm going to have to scan this on the uh, Slimming World app to see how many sins this is. I, I don't know. I think it might be a bit high. But anyway, I'm sure it will come in handy at some point. Some fajita seasoning mix. We're going to have fajitas one night this week. That is what I wanted the super rice, the golden vegetable rice for. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have to have it with normal rice if not some onion granules i haven't had this for ages been meaning to pick some up so yeah remembered them this week a little jar of nutella only a little a little one i mean i could scoop all that with a spoon and eat it on the spot but i won't it's pancake day tomorrow when i'm filming this it is the 16th of february tomorrow so I bought pan uh, Nutella for the pancakes for the children as a little treat. Again, I only bought the little one because I will be tempted to eat that with a spoon if not. Fruits, um, we've got, look at this little mini watermelon. I can't pick it up without dropping it, I don't think. But look how little that is. I mean, it did say a mini one, which I picked up because I didn't want a really big one because we've got loads of other fruits and i didn't want it to go to waste um but how cute is this i wonder if it tastes any different i've never seen a little one like that before oh let's put that over there blueberries um red seedless grapes two bunches of bananas there they'll be good to eat in about a day Applewise, some small apples for the children, some bigger gala apples for me and the husband. And then this is like salad y veg section. So, peppers again, the green one, the dreaded green one, but never mind. Um, carrots, red onion, brown onion crunchy coleslaw kit again could make this myself but can't be bothered then also a cucumber some corn on the carb little cobbets whatever you want to call it two packs of these shredded iceberg lettuce because my husband moaned because I get this butterhead salad or rocket salad and he's not that keen um so he asked for iceberg but then i've just realized that this has baby spinach in doesn't it and i don't like baby spinach oh that's a fail great i don't know what to do then i'll probably be blooming eating this as well anyway two packets of the baking potatoes let's have a feel the um weekly feel of potatoes i mean they're not that big to be honest not not very pleased with those yeah they're, they're just standard potatoes basically morrison's wins on the old baking potatoes um parsnips then uh, over here is the dairy section so we've got two Alpro growing up milks for Charlie. Then semi-skim milk for me and Elodie. We've got a 12 pack of um, eggs and also a six pack of eggs. Reduced fat mozzarella. 
Then yogurt wise, these are mine. I figured out that my favourite are the cherry ones, the light and free cherry ones. So I'll be having one of those um, in a minute actually when I pack this shopping away with some fruit. These for the children, these four yogurt pouches. I just got two of those, two strawberry, two raspberry. They're just really quick and convenient for them and they make minimal mess. I know the extra pack, uh, packaging probably isn't that brilliant for the environment, but we can't all be saints, can we? We can try. Anyway, speaking of packaging, I am going to meet free once a week. So these rosemary sausages, um, we do have these for lunch quite a lot as well. Then two chicken breasts for a meal and then this for the jerk chicken the chicken um thighs these skinless and boneless ones i didn't realize that i ordered two packs of these these are the frozen uh, diced chicken breast fillets and we've already got some left over in the freezer as well so we're stocked up on frozen chicken apparently some um, oak smoked ham for sandwiches and chicken for sandwiches. Then here is a rather sorry looking ugly um, chicken. We're going to have a roast dinner, but this just really doesn't look appetising, does it, at all. Look at that. Oh, it looks like me without any fake tan on. Anyway, bread. 50-50 King's Mill. I've got the children some chocolate chip brioche rolls and some Weight Watchers white wraps. So that was everything. Again, it was from Tesco. I'll pop down below now how much it all cost this week and stick around and I'm going to be sharing my meals of the week, my meal plan for next week. So meal wise for this week, we're starting at tomorrow, which is Tuesday. It's pancake day, so I'm going to be making the children some pancakes for their pudding. Then we're going to have pizza wraps, chips and beans, because I thought it would be nice and easy for making the pancakes. I just don't want to create too much work for myself. Wednesday, we're going to be having jerk chicken thighs, rice and beans, and or rice and peas and corn on the cob and coleslaw. Thursday, we're having that roast chicken, roast potatoes, carrots, parsnips, and peas. Friday's fast food Friday, where me and the husband will be getting a takeaway and watching a film, and the children have something frozen out of the freezer earlier on. Saturday, chicken feeders and savoury rice, and I'll have to see about that rice. Sunday, we're having veggie sausages, mashed peas and carrots. And next week, before the food shopping comes again, we're having spaghetti and meatballs. So that is the meal plan for this week. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And please subscribe if you're not already. And see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.